Hello, hello. This is Sunshine. This is Dr. Walker. And we're here today to talk to you about something. I know you don't want to talk about it. You better not change that channel. I see you. I'm looking right at you. Today we're going to talk about water. I see him, Sunshine. Do you see him too? I see him. Okay, and they better not change the channel because <laughs> we're going to talk about water and why it is so good to you. As most of you all know, Sunshine and I come to you every week with things that make your life better, to make you live better, to make you live a long time. I've written a best-selling book and you need to get your copy. They're selling out so fast and there will be no more after this. The biggest regret you'll ever have in life is that you didn't get the book, 131 Ways to Live to Be 131. DrValerieWalker.com. DrValerieWalker.com. And guess what one of the best ways is, Sunshine? You ready for this? You've got to drink a lot of water. And I'm going to tell y'all right now why water is so good for you. First of all, when you drink water, and sometimes, did I leave the clip in my hair or did I take it out? You took it out. It looks I look, fantastic. Okay, I look good. Did you know amazing. you got to? You got to look good in order for you guys to watch. Because guess what we found out? We did research years and years ago. And Sunshine, you're going to remember this. They found out that you sent a person in to apply for a job. And they weigh like 300, 200 pounds. And I'm not talking about anybody's weight. The Lord knows in America, most people are weighing that right now. That even though you could type a million words a minute, they will not hire you. They will hire the person that weighs 100 pounds that only type one word a minute. They're doing the pet, 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 pet. Pet, pet, pet. So people really discriminate against you based on your looks, based on race, based on everything. So what we try to do when Sunshine and I come to you, we try to transpose everything. Race, color, gender, it does not matter. Uh, we love everybody just the way God wants us to. God is a God of love. He loves everybody and we love you too. So one of the things we're going to talk about today to help you to live 131 ways. Sunshine, do you have your book? Yes, you do, because I, I have it right here for you. The limited edition book. Limited edition. Exclusively at drvaleriewalker.com. Absolutely, and you need to order because they're going fast. Most of them are already sold out. We will ship it to you with a sign. Uh, lips this is on a package, but she will sign and lipstick imprint for you personally. For you personally, and you need to get the book. It's things in there that you never thought of, things like the layers of the rainforest, seven one signs of cancer. You will regret that you never got that book if you don't get it right now. So today we're taking a chapter after the book, one of our earlier chapters, and that chapter is on water and why it's time for you to drink up and whether you like your water hard or do you like your water soft. That's what we're going to talk about today. So anyway, talking about water, speaking of water, Sunshine, let me tell you a little things I know about water. Being a physician, when I tell patients to drink water, they say all the time, when they come in for the initial interview, because I'm a wellness and, and prevention doctor, I always ask them, how much water do you drink? And guess what the first thing they say? Oh, uh, none. They do none. the shame. I they do the shame look. Yes, none. <laughs> they go, oh, Dr. Walker, I don't drink water. And I said, why is that? I don't like water. I said, well, water likes you. I said, what do you drink? They said, oh, I drink Pepsi. I drink Coca-Cola. I drink Pepsi all day long and all. I said, let me ask you something. They said, yes, they'll know I'm setting them up for the kill. <laughs> I said, which I'm going to do. I said, do you, would you take a bath in Pepsi? And they look at me all indignant. No, why would you ever think I'd take a bath in Pepsi? I said, well, why wouldn't you take a bath in a big old tub of hot, sizzling Pepsi Cola? <laughs> they said, well, first of all, it would be sticky. I said, mm-hmm. Like your inside. Yeah. They said, it would be yucky. And I said, mm-hmm. And when I got out and tried to draw, all the stickiness would stick to the towel. And I go, mm-hmm. I said, guess what? That's the same way the inside of your body feels. Your body, the inside of your body houses your heart, your lungs, your kidneys, your intestines, your digestive tract, your bladder, your liver. All these things are on the inside of your body. How do you think they feel? Such a, how does your liver feel when you dump all this sticky, yucky, sugary, 
Pepsi or any kind of soda. I'm just not thinking on Pepsi. I'm talking about any soda on it all day long. It would feel sticky and gross and something I would want nothing to do with. Absolutely. And that's what my point I'm trying to make. If the inside of your body does not want these things, what do you think the outside of your body feels like? I mean, you tell me what the outside feels like if you bathe in Pepsi. So that's why I tell people, if you will not take a bath in Pepsi, why dumping it on all your internal organs that are delicate, that have all these functions, your heart has to beat, pop, 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 blood every second, 24 seven, your liver has to work, your kidneys have to work. If they don't want the Pepsi, why do you think the outside of your body want all this nasty, yucky stuff on, on it too? And that's why I tell people, you have got to drink water. So you know what I'd rather you do? I'd rather you take a bath in the Pepsi and drink the water. Now what about champagne? A uh, whole different subject. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm just I having a fantasy. Champagne. I know of a champagne bath. So, with diamonds. No, but still with diamonds and all that is fine if you got a high roll and a high ball in your life. But the main thing you have got to remember is you want to drink water all day, every day. And so you say, how much water? My patients say, okay, I'm convinced. I leave the Pepsi alone, I leave the soda alone. How much water, Dr. Walker, do you want me to drink? And guess what I tell them? Half your body weight. In ounces, right? And, 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 yeah, in ounces. In Half ounces. your body weight, in ounces. So then they said, well, I weigh 300 pounds. <laughs> so you telling me to drink 150 ounces of water a day? Yes. Flush it out. Yeah, that's right, because <laughs> if that's too much water for you, you know what the next thing is, then lose some weight. And then if you lose some weight, sunshine, you don't have to drink that much. I see how you're. I see what you're doing. You're backing them into a corner. I with am. The I am. And I with will, the knowledge, I will back them in a corner. Anything I can do to make you live 131 years and to stay healthy, I will do it. And all my patients out there, and I got thousands of you guys out there, know I will back you in a corner, only to make you realize that water is good for you. So a lot of water every single day. And then so the next question, you know what? The next question, Sunshine, what kind of water? Okay, you want us to drink this water. What kind of water? Well, there are all kind of waters. When I grew up down south, and Natalie, my little childhood friend, who I mentioned a lot on the show, she can tell you this too. We had our water used to come out a little brown and rusty. So oh. it was, yeah, it did. It used to come it out. It used to only come from one place, water. Right. Even I when know. I was little, like water came from one place, the tap. Where else were you getting water? Right, absolutely. And then it would come out a little bit of brown. We got a new mayor, she cleaned the water up, and now it comes out. They said sometime in towns you can have hard water and you can have soft water. Hmm. Which do you prefer? Uh, that's what we got to figure out. That's for another show. Which you people, one? which do you prefer? For please let right. us know in the comments. Please, when the comments come up, please let us know. And ask your county which they have, because apparently Sunshine, it's a way you can tell if you got hot water or salt water. But they'll say, you got hot water, I guess you got more minerals in it or whatever, that you need to do this, or you got salt water, you need to do the other. Because so, you would think that hard would be better, but not necessarily. Absolutely. Part is not always Because they sell different. water softeners, which is like, I guess, something for your house. Right, right, right. So you got to find out what type of water. But while you figuring all that out, and I'm going to hear the comments for y'all to figure, help us figure this thing out. The other thing you need to know that when you go to the store, patients always ask me, okay, Dr. Walker, I'm sold. I've, I've convinced them that they need to drink more water. What type of water should you Holy drink? Holy water. Baptized. Okay. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Right? <laughs> Everybody needs that. Yeah. Everybody needs a little hole in water. I can picture you doing that with patients. Like, I've oh, converted Oh, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Come right in and be baptized and healed. <laughs> but anyway, the only thing is I like to say is there are a lot of different brands of water that are sold out there. Sunshine, I think you brought us a few that you were going to demonstrate for I mean, us. I'm not a water expert. You are, but I'm not. this is, I know this is Walmart. And a lot of times patients tell me a lot of the water they drink it tastes salty. And uh, and one thing I've noticed about great value Walmart's water, I don't taste it's not very expensive, but I don't taste the water. It not doesn't taste like the ocean. Yeah, I don't taste that water and all the minerals That's a and good the salt. Should we show that to them? Yeah, show it to them. we we'll, we don't mind telling you good things. We do not mind. Let so that's a good one. 
You don't see that. That's the Walmart right. You all recognize that. We love yeah, oh, I love that. And you know, Walmart is an Ebates partner. So if you click the link through this video and subscribe to Ebates, which is totally free, you get cash back if you order online from Walmart through Dr. Okay. Walker's link. Oh, okay. Well, that's a good thing. Okay. My back. So water is practically free even if you purchase it from the store. Absolutely. Okay. And then we have Nestle. Now, did you, you like this one? I've never had this one. Next to Pure Right, because like I said, I try to do Walmart, but I'm not trying to be a high roll and high ball and we'll get to some of the more expensive ones in a second. But you like this one? Yeah, I just picked this up, uh, Nestle Pure Life. I didn't even, I, I wasn't really even paying attention. Mm -hmm. But I like to keep a case of water in the back seat of the car. That's so a good you, idea. So you can reach, you know, do this. We all do that. Uh -huh. Get some in the back seat. Absolutely. And just grab some, and it's totally fine. Nestle Pure Life. Okay. All right. And the minerals, you know how they love to say if they see minerals and all that in it? I mean, the. Okay, well, the ingredients are obviously water, chloride, mm -hmm. sodium, so a little salt and sulfate, but it says private water supply, Red Boiling Springs, Tennessee. Well, Tennessee is great, in my opinion. I, I'll drink water from there. That's for, okay. Dolly, that's for Dolly Partners. Right? Okay, no, I love Dolly. So the water is clearly okay. Dolly, if you're listening, we love you, girl. Always have. I just love her. Oh, she's my just, gosh. She's a rock. She's just she solid, her. and she's still with her husband, and she's not into that Hollywood show-off flair. I just love her. But speaking of love, we gotta Hollywood, you and I. Yeah, I'm ready. The Dolly, tour video will be fun. Dolly, will you on be the roller coaster. On us, will you be waiting on us when we get there? We would love that. Mm -hmm. But anyway, it's shoot a show from Dollyland. That would be a good thing. Oh, yeah. That sounds like have <laughs> I'm distracted now. Okay, let's bring it back to water. Okay. All right. But water, what I want to say about McIntyre, Georgia, my little hometown, guess what? There is a place there where you can go where the water is all natural, where it's coming over this mountain, where people go every day with jug bottles and they collect the water and it's pure and they take in it home. Oh, absolutely. In McIntyre, Georgia, you can get fresh water. And I mean, it's cool, it's refreshing. It's the way I like you to drink water, which is cool. I don't like water too cold because it'll give you brain freeze. Yeah. And sometimes too hot is not good unless you're sick. If you're sick, a little cup of hot water will do you good. But cool water is just wonderful. And we have it coming cascading over the mountains, almost like Niagara Falls. Can I order that online? McIntyre water? You can just come to McIntyre. I would, I can't wait for our McIntyre Yeah, just show. come on to McIntyre and we will go there and actually we can do some filming right from there. But the water is right there and it is wonderful. It's fresh, it's crisp. And actually Dr. LaSane, I don't know if she's still with us, but guess what she have in her house? She lived way out in the woods. She lives so far out in the woods you don't even know her house is back there. I said, Doc, I would be so scared of bears and snakes and everything else. But guess what she had? A whale. Oh, there's still mm -hmm. wells out there. There's still wells out there. And I talked to her the other day about it. I said, Doc, how do y'all do y'all wells? And she said, first of all, it's an electric bill. I said, well, electric? Wow. It's because they're going to charge you to pump the water up from the surface and the water is underground. And she said, whenever the lights go off, she have no water. She has no water. She has to run whenever they say the lights may go out. She says she has to go run in the bathtub full of water, collect a bunch of water because they may even wells be electric. What, is there Can a water bill that? also? Yes. Yes. You gotta pay for the water that's pumped off your own land. Yes. And you you're do. paying for the okay. Okay. Yeah. Doctor, so, explain that to us. Yeah, we need you to explain that to us. So that's another kind of water is wet water. And then the other kind of water that I love to talk about is waters like this one. And this is from Avion. the French Alps. The French Alps. The French Alps. Can Avion. you hold that? Can they see that Everybody one? Everybody loves Avion. This is what I they know. spray on you at the spa, at the resort. Right, right. And then if you want to really look cool, sunshine, walk around with it. You know how people want to look like, ooh, I've glasses. arrived. Yeah. Oh yeah, I have arrived. Then put that on and, and take that with you and it will be very, very good. I tell you, yeah, let's do the glasses. We can do a visual. Let's do a visual of how you should play this water. Rich lady. Drinking an Avion, driving off the golf course. Thank you. In a fur coat with a tiara. Yes, yes, yes. I like that whole effect. I can see it in my mind. But it's costly. So even with the cost, does it, Sunshine, does it taste any better? Because we always love to go on taste. We you know, love taste. 
I do love taste, but I am a visual person, so I would not be the person to ask because even if it didn't taste any different, I would be the one to be like, oh yeah, avian is so much better. Okay, I got because you. Because I'm a little shallow like okay, that. Okay, okay. Like a shallow creek. Okay, okay, I got you. <laughs> so we <laughs> just... So we got that one. So we know there are cheaper brands you can buy. I don't know if there's a difference. They all taste good to me. I just drink water. I drink, people always say, Dr. Water, Sunshine gonna give y'all some tips on what water does for you. But how do you keep your skin so flawless? One of the first things I tell them is sunshine is a witness. I drink half my body weight of water every single day. I drink water all day long. And no, I don't add lemon and sugar to it because guess what? That make it lemonade. That poor man's lemonade. Have you lemonade. ever been to a restaurant and seen with somebody and they're like, I'll take, they don't want to pay for a beverage. So they say, I'll take a ice water and can I have a bunch of sugar packets and a, a plate of lemons? <laughs> Sorry, mom. Sorry to put you on the Okay, oh, you put mom. You threw mom under the bus. But I mean, mom, you have been thrown under the bus. And I'm paying. So what? What's the difference? Right, I'm right. Straight for, for the lemonade. Right, right. Just get you some lemonade. But we do it all the time. We all and and trust me, those waitresses know what you're doing. No, when you no. go there and you tell them, oh, I'll take a glass of water, so demure, and you look so innocent. I'll take one, but I also need five lemons, and I need five packs of sugar, you're about to make lemonade, darling. And we all know it. Just spring the dollar and buy the lemonade. Get some extra lemon. This is what I do. I order lemonade, but I get extra lemon to squeeze in it because mm -hmm. I like mine real tart yeah, and real lemony, and it tastes really, really well. But don't cheat the people out of that dollar. Go ahead and order your lemonade because they know what you're doing. And they look at you rolling their eyes up in their head like, um, mm -hmm. Calculate your 20%. That's 25%. right. We do exactly what you're doing here. So water, water, water. Did you all know that the earth is covered with 70% water? Did you know that? Including us? Yes, water. The whole earth is covered with 70% water. But did you know the human body is 70% water? Isn't that something? So if you say you don't like water, you're pretty much hating your stuff. Yes, self-hatred. Because you self are water. When you look in the mirror, you see your eyes, you see your nose, you see your mouth, you see all these things. Don't forget that. Forget all about that. When you look in the mirror, just see a little glob of water, because that's what you <laughs> are. The human body is mostly water. And that's why a lot of times when you feel hungry, like, oh, Lord, I'm starving to death. No, you're not. You're dehydrated, and you need some water. So remember the rule is, unless you're a doctor, there are some, certain conditions that you cannot drink that much water. Heart disease, mm -hmm. uh, dialysis, kidney disease, certain problems. So everything you hear on the show, always check with your doctor. But if your doctor tells you in top-notch shape, and there's no reason you can't drink water, then the rule is half your body weight every day. So if you weigh 300 pounds, that's 150 ounces a day. That is um, motivation to lose weight if you're, because who is. wants to chug, just thinking about that, you see it people is. carrying the gallon jugs around the gym and stuff, mm -hmm. and I'm like, gosh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it's a lot of water. Yeah, but you got to drink it. It flushes the system out. So no, you are not the you are not hungry. You are dehydrated. We've done research and found out most people in the country are dehydrated. You know why? You don't drink enough water. You all are thirsty. Yeah. You we didn't mention the best thing water. about water is it has zero calories. Zero. So you can have as much as you want. There's not a lot of things you can say that about. As mm -hmm, much as you want, mm -hmm, guilt-free. Mm -hmm. I see a lot of supermodels. I can't name them because you would know them. But the one beverage they drink all day long that they all have in common, they drink a lot of water. So what is good for you? So such as You can a, say my name. It's okay. A, <laughs> it's okay. I give you You are so funny. <laughs> okay. So smart. What is sparkling water with raspberry lime, lime? That's what patients ask me all the time is whether or not they can season, quote unquote, their water with all these little packets of sweeteners and all these different things. Yeah, this is just, sometimes you think you want soda because it has the carbonation, but mm -hmm. you just want that, the mm -hmm. bubbles. I like, it's just called the bubbles. The bubbles. In layman's terms. Mm -hmm. So I get like the sparkling Ozarka water or any brand, really. There's one called, um, sparkle ice or something mm -hmm. and it just gets there's no calories no 
additional anything, just a little flavoring, which is a couple of chemicals, probably mm -hmm. not the best for you. If you can do straight water, just do straight water. That's better. Right? That's always better. And even those little packets that y'all bring me, guess what? They got aspartame in it. Aspartame has been associated with fibroids, lupus, oh, cancer. Really? Oh, absolutely. So don't put the little packets mm -hmm. in there. If you want to put something in your water, get your fresh lemon. Cut it in half, squeeze your little lemon juice in there, and do that. I'd rather you do that. I don't want your fibroids. Right. Yeah, you don't need fibroids. <laughs> you need a uterus to have fibroids. <laughs> okay, well, you learn something new every day. Every day, and that's why we're here. We're here to train and to educate. So, yeah. Maybe work, if you have to work your way to clear water, I don't know who you are, but maybe start with something flavored and then work your way to the clear Avion Club. Right, right, absolutely. This is like the Delta Lounge. It's like it is. VIP. I love it. I like it. I, I really, really love it. Whenever people trying to high roll you and high ball you, you'll notice they'll always bring out that type of water. They try to low ball you, they'll bring in the, the others. Your favorite is Dasani. Everywhere we go, you drinking that. I love Dasani. I don't mm -hmm. know if it's, like I told you, I'm a visual person. I don't know if it's the bottle, the shape. It's Because it's blue and it reminds you of the ocean. And because I told you earlier, the world is covered with 70% water. Not including the people. Let me take that back. This is just ocean. We're mm -hmm. just talking about the water. The land and water. The just water. It's 70% water. So God was giving us a hint. Mm -hmm. To drink water. Most of the healthiest things to eat seaweed, fish, everything else comes from what? The water. So we're giving you a hint today. Omega 3. Water, 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 omega 3, the water, the coral reefs, and all those things. Uh, some of the salts that we use, always the water. water. So everything is going back to water. So, okay. So, oh, absolutely. So, Sunshine, you got some of the things that water can prevent. I do. What, why, I mean, so we told them about the water, told them to drink half their body weight. Why? If you need more reasons besides quenching your thirst and your parchedness with mm -hmm. the water, it also prevents urinary tract infections. Absolutely. Which happens to a lot of ladies especially and ladies you're not drinking your water and you're not wiping from front to back oh. if you wipe from front to back not pull up and go back to front but front to back and drink a lot of water i promise you you will not get urinary tract infections but most people they drink in soda and not water i miss that schoolhouse rock but that's good information it is it prevents kidney stones i don't know what a kidney stone is exactly but it sounds terrifying it is and it hurt oh my god if you i i you you to do sometime a lot of emergency room work just to fill in gaps and etc. If you ever work in an emergency room and somebody come in with something like a gallbladder attack or a kidney attack, they are horrible. And you know why? Because sunshine, they act a little stone. They're stones. They're real stone. Like if you and I leave out right now, yeah. go in the front yard, we won't right now because it's dreary, cold, and raining, but pick up little stones. Kidney stones are actually little stones that stick you. How do you get them out? Goes, well, you flush them out, or then you got these doctor urologists who can blast them out. What? It's just all kind of so things. they come but, out of your urethra. Your right, and then can you imagine? Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Pain. So you know what? So you know what the old folks say: a house of prevention is worth a pound of cure. I would rather you drink the water and prevent kidney stones because the pee out rocks. Yeah, you, I think so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, I'm convinced. I'm sold. I'm drinking the water. <laughs> If you would just drink the water, you wouldn't have to worry about this. That so is. drink a lot of water. Kidney stones usually happen to people who are dehydrated and they never drink water. And all these deposits build up and find these little rocks that you've got to pass. That's mm -hmm. some fear factor mm -hmm. stuff. Isn't that horrible? You should leave with that. Kidney, you so. want to pee out rocks? <laughs> So you need some water. You can prescribe water, water as a water, physician, water. right? Oh, I, my patients all drink water. They know. I tell them all the time, do not. And you all know I tell y'all this all the time. Turn up in the emergency rooms in bad shape. The ER doctor asks you, who's your doctor? And you go, Dr. Valerie Walker. Don't you do that. Do you better it. be done, done all the preventive stuff. Then present yourself to the emergency room. Okay. Because we're so, a team. My health and you, my medical provider, are right. a team, right? Absolutely. I'm not going to bring you down with me because of my bad choices. Right. Okay. Prevents fatigue well. Absolutely. Most people feel fatigued. Uh, they're tired. You know why they're tired? You're dehydrated. Research has shown even when you feel hungry and you feel rabid. Like, oh my God. 
I could eat everything in Snooks, Dearburgs, all the other stores, all these and every store in between. You know what your problem is? You're probably dehydrated. Dehydration make you feel hungry. And by the time you feel like you need some water, guess what? It's too late. You're already dehydrated. So make sure you drink a lot of water, especially before you go shopping. Because when you go through those grocery aisles, guess what you're going to do? Buy and eat everything you see. And heaven forbid for the little ladies in there giving you a little snack. Oh, yeah. Don't go in there trying to eat up all the ladies' little snacks. That is just not I good. don't. I roll right past them in the cheese whiz and the cracker. Right, right, right. I stop. <laughs> no, I do. I mean, I, it depends I, on the mood. I stop. Man. You know why I stop? I stop because they always call me and beckon me to stop. Do I have a face that look like beckoning? You apparently, have, I you do. have a loving, friendly face. I think so. And you know, I think they get paid based on how many people they serve. So really, you're doing God's work. Okay, good. Because I stop and I taste it. And if it tastes good, I'll stay in there and eat. You're, you're a giver. More. You're a giver. At least two. And then I move on. Okay. What else does drinking water do for oh, you? Oh, well, most importantly, it affects your physical appearance. Like Absolutely. Preventing crow's feet. It hydrates Oh, and those, those little lines are coming in the corner of your eye. I mean, you we don't, don't have any examples water. here, but... No, Google we don't it. have crow's feet to look at them. But water keeps your skin flawless. People always say, Dr. Walker, we look at you year after year after year. You have no wrinkles. You have no crow's feet. Like Benjamin it's Button. because I drink the water all day. Yeah. And Sunshine, you drink yours too. I mandate you drink your water. So you, you do. know it. I've gotten threatening calls and texts saying, right. hey, did you drink your water today? <laughs> you hey, know you what do. happens if you don't. Yes, 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 you do. So urinary tract infection, dehydration, overall good health, constipation, if you're constipated beauty, all the time. Beauty. Beauty, right, you have got to drink the water. So I think we've shown you a lot of good examples. It's whatever you feel comfortable with. Drink your water, just drink it, drink it, drink it. We don't care how much sunshine is loading up on it. Actually, he needs to drink all of those today to make sure he's gotten all of his. I hope the well is working today. That is our show for today. We've done water. We've told you all the benefits of it. We told you how it keeps you well. It keeps you hydrated. Keeps stones away. All those horrible stones. And until next week, when we'll be back again, but you will have sunshine because I will be out of the country just for a minute. But I will be back. Until then... I'll see you drink your water, please.